you know, it's it's still still pretty early yet to kind of determine. You know, we haven't toured since the since she's been born, so I'm, a, I'm I think that's going to be the real test of how my wife and I handle it, how I handle being away from her. You know, but um, it's it's been pretty awesome so far, and like I I think. This is gonna sound weird, but it's oddly made me more excited to do the things that I love in life, like make music and go skateboarding and you know, spend time outdoors. Because like I A, I want my daughter to grow up in a family where like she has parents who actually are passionate about things. I think 10 years is, well, or almost 10 years as a band, we really enjoy it, we're having fun, and that's why we do it. We're, I don't feel like we're hungry, like, you know, out to prove something anymore. We're just like, we're just making the music we want to make at the pace we want to make it. If you like it, cool. If you don't like it, that's cool too. I don't really care. How's my life changed? Obviously, you know, I had a kid, so I don't sleep very much. Um, I've gotten much better at cleaning up poop. <laughs> uh, you were pretty bad at that. I was especially on myself. Kind of grown up a little bit. Maybe not mentally, but uh, you know, just some more responsibilities. But I think overall, same, same person. For the band, it's like I feel like we figured out our strengths, and now we. It's just so much easier to craft songs and... Things just change and you kind of have to realign your priorities. And I mean, I think everything's kind of grown and changed organically, you know? There just comes a point where, where you, see the, you see the tattoos that you like or whatever it is that you like, you know, whether you're a cook and you finally taste that food that you want to cook or eat for the rest of your life. But once I saw that, um, I started getting more and more interested in it. And um, yeah, I just waited until I found the right stuff. I didn't want to make a decision that I would regret. My problem is that I can be talked into anything or dared to do anything. And so I have a lot of really stupid tattoos, but I like them. I think they're, <laughs> I think they're funny, yeah. but I'm just, sometimes I look at them and I'm just like, man, I'm a fucking idiot. Like, like a Frankenstein hot dog right there that I got because I was waiting for my other friend to get tattooed at, at uh, Art Freak and Don Lucier was sitting there and he was bored. He was like, let me tattoo you. And I was like, I don't know, I don't have any money. He's like, I'll do it for free. And I was like, I don't know what to get. And he goes, Frankenstein hot dog. <laughs> and I go, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's, let's do that, yeah.